it's chippy here and I've got the changes solar kit in front of me on an extremely dark dull ugh, miserable day it's even been raining and then you can see the rain on a 25 watt Sunlink panel the reason I'm doing this is because the 4 watt uh, changes sun panel is really not going to pick up anything usable in this low light level and in terms of light here Look at that lux meter there, reading around, uh, times, multiply that by 10, 3,000 lux, which is really absolutely nothing. It's it's cloudy day, lux levels, you can get that more than that in an office, to be honest. Uh, represents probably something between a 20th and a, and a 50th of the sort of energy you'll get from the sun, or the sunlight you'll get from the, sorry, the lightness that you'll get from the sun. You have to get the terminology right. Uh, in, uh, you know, a midsummer day. Anyway, um, so by connecting this uh, 25 watt panel, we're actually able to get something out of the energy that's floating around today. And our lux meter's running up to about 3,400 here. And if you have a look at the meter, let's just make sure this is all connected properly. If you have a look here, you should see that blipping. And uh, probably every two or three seconds blip. 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 Yeah, about once every two seconds, indicating something like yeah up to half a watt of energy going in there which which actually from this sunlight level is isn't too bad and i think if, if that as that hits four thousand you'll probably see this go up to once a second to about one watt um or even a little bit more going into the charging unit there a couple of things to note uh firstly standard changes solar panel here for what standard changes a uh, power pack here this is a sunlink 25 watt panel quite expensive i think three to four hundred dollars at the moment and what i've done is i've just taken a, a 12 volt adapter there's no regulator in here um, and i've made sure very carefully that the positive and negative are the correct way around on there please if you're going to do this be very careful 25 watt panel is likely to blow your charger in high sunlight levels and i mean you know anything that's um bright sunlight uh, and even hazy sunlight could be enough to blow it so really be very careful if you're, if you're adding extra additional solar power panels to this um, i'm only doing this just to see what sort of um just see to see what we can get out in terms of powering things like um, pcs i want to uh, test these uh, panels and devices to see basically the best way to try and power a pc experience from solar energy so as the lux light level rises there to 4400 we're getting about one blip every second on the charger there indicating over one watt of charge from the 25 watt panel so i hope that helps people uh to sap as much as they can in from the sun into the changes uh, charger this charger is, is excellent nice and intelligent and offers um, charging rates from as low as 300 uh, milliwatts up to 10 watts and uh, that is quite a nice feature to be able to do this sort of trickle charging it extends the usability of uh, of this um, into more hours of the day effectively so where um, you might be using a, a regulator on a lithium-ion pack just to get something charging between 10 a.m. and 2 p.m. this one will work sort of 8 a.m. through to 6 p.m. so really really nice uh, uh, nice unit they've designed here so you can find out more from me at solarumpc.com where over the last uh, number of years I've been testing out panels and equipment and reporting occasionally on um, things coming into the market with a view to powering a full PC experience with the sun. And we're nearly there and I hope to bring you very soon an article about a very special Windows 8 touchscreen PC from Lenovo, the Lenovo Lynx. Um, which has micro USB uh, charging, 5 volt charging, where this setup might actually be able to power the whole PC um, just from the sun. So stay tuned, solumpc.com. I'll try and get you that information, that article as soon as possible. Thanks for watching.